Hi guys, it's Gina with YA Fiction Freaks and I am going to do a review on The Radiant Shadows by Melissa Marr. Um, you guys aren't going to be surprised at all when I tell you how many stars I give it because I give it five stars. Five fairies out of five fairies once again. I absolutely love, you guys probably get tired of me hearing me say this, I absolutely love Melissa Marr's world that she's created and her fairies. Um, this again, each of her books are like a, a um, companion. Uh, well, one and three are more of direct sequels to me, and the rest of them are all like companions, but the characters are in them all throughout, and you learn more and more about their story. It just focuses more on maybe another character. So I love them because that gives you a chance to get to know the world even so much better and um, the other characters' backgrounds and how all the fairies and all the humans, everybody that's in the story connects. Um, and then, of course, book two, uh, to Ink Exchange, book two actually was my favorite. Um, it focuses more on the dark court, and I loved book two. Um, so, but I really did love this one too. But if I had to pick one, Ink Exchange was probably my really, really, really favorite. Um, and then she has a direct sequel to that. If you get the soft copy, the, the paperback copy of Fragile Eternity, book three, Stopping Time is in the back of that one. It's a short story, and it's a short little um, sequel to Ink Exchange, which I absolutely loved. So... But the Dark Court is actually has a big part in this book, too. So I, I really loved it. So I definitely recommend. I think this Wicked Lovely is a must-read series. Um, I saw Melissa, Web, uh, Melissa Mars website that there's going to be a movie. And she's really excited and happy with the um, screenplay that's been written. So, um, hopefully that will come out soon. I think it definitely could be, if they do it right, it could be as big as Twilight. I hope that people start reading this series because this is probably the first series that I really have become really obsessed with like I did with Twilight. Um, and I think I told you guys when I reviewed book three or book two, I can't remember, but I have definitely, I love Edward Cullen, the character of Twilight. But I would pick the fairy named Neil over Edward if I had a choice. So, <laughs> I love Twilight, don't get me wrong, but I really love this series. You guys have got to read it. This book, um, now I'll stop rambling. This book, Radiant Shadows, is actually about this girl. And her name is, oh my gosh, am I going to forget her name? I'm not going to forget her name. Her name was something unique. Ani. Well, it's A-N-I, and it could be Annie or Ani, but I say I said Ani um, when I read it. But it's mainly about, she's half human and half fairy, and she's dri it says she's driven by her hungers. Hunger for nourishment, hunger for touch, hunger to belong. And this actually is all about the high court fairy and Ani's story and how she gets involved um, into uh, the fairy world. Um, and she is a real key factor to whether the world, the, the high court and, and the world of fairy is actually going to even survive. So she becomes connected with, um, this isn't a spoiler, but she meets Devlin who is a brother of the high court queen and um, it's really about kind of their adventure and how Ani's connected with all that and is really really good these wolves I love these covers I, I really I love this cover I love the, I really like the ink exchange cover in this cover after you read the book because if you could see these wolves here and I'm not going to tell you what that means but of course when I got this I I knew that it would mean something and it definitely plays a big part and, and you understand why that's there on her arm. So 
really cool book. Um, I'm going to read you a little bit of the back. Um, he was sculpture perfect, but had a tangled feel, shadow and radiance. He didn't look much older than her until she saw the arrogance in his posture. Then he reminded her of the fairies who walked through courts and crowds confident that they could slaughter everyone in the room, like chaos in a glass cage. Come dance, Ani told, turned her back and let herself be swept into the crowd. So, it's, guys, I've got to read this series. Um, one thing, and I've probably told you this in all my Wicked Lovely videos, but one thing is, when you start out with reading Wicked Lovely, everybody seems to feel a little confused, like you're missing something when you're reading it, or maybe you don't know enough about the, the fairy world to read it, or fairy folklore to read it. But you just have to keep going. Somebody had told me that. Um, Xmas Book Obsess actually helped me because she said, you have to keep going. She felt that way too. And it's not that you don't know enough about fairy folklore or about the, fair, the world of fairy or the history or anything. The author will give you those answers as you keep going along. And it's kind of like that every book, of course, you, you know more and more and more. So stick with it and keep going because these books are awesome. So, I hope you guys read them. If you have read them, comment down below and let me know if you've read them um, and what you think about them or if you're going to read them. I'd love to know and, and love to know if you guys love them like I do. So, next year, um, Darkest Mercy is coming out and I can't wait. That comes out next year and I think that's going to be the last in the series, but I'm not sure. So, alright guys, I will see you next time. Hope you're having a great week and happy reading!